What's up everybody, it's Neo here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get back lock screen widgets on Android 5.0 Lollipop. So depending on how frequently you use them, you may or may not have noticed that lock screen widgets are no longer available on Lollipop. So it's pretty easy to get them back using a third party application, which is called Widget Pager. You don't need to be rooted, all you need is the free application, which you can find on the Play Store. So, when you open it up, all you have to do is select Toggle the Widget Pager. Um, you can adjust the activation icon size, so if you look on the bottom left corner of my screen, there's the activation icon. It's not that good looking, so hopefully it gets updated soon. And then you can configure your widgets. So you have the four quadrants, I guess you can say. And you just tap, select a widget, and it'll be added. Uh, it kind of sucks that you can't see a preview here, but they will be added even though you can't see them. So then, once you have them set up, you just lock your device, unlock it, or sorry, just ac access your lock screen, tap the activation toggle, and there you go. You have your widgets. Now, you don't have to use this only if you want to get widgets back on Android Lollipop because the implementation of these widgets is actually a little more practical and resembles that of the ones you use on your device's home page or home screen. Um, you can actually, you know, interact with the notifications and do stuff, but I mean, you can't actually launch their corresponding app which is which is pretty good for security reasons um, unfortunately though talking about security you can access your widgets even if you have a locked lock screen so even if you have a or sorry a secured lock screen so even if you have a a pin or a code or or anything like that uh, anyone can access them so just be sure not to add any widgets with sensitive material or something you don't or wouldn't prefer a stranger to view. Now, actually, it does launch, let me make a correction, it does launch the app, but you have to unlock your device to actually use it, so it won't just automatically launch it. So as I tap this, you notice when I unlock my device, it opens it up directly to that. So it's kind of a cool little procedure, I guess, because it does have your security in mind, but I would like an option just to make sure not just anyone can access my widgets because I might be using a banking widget or something else. So definitely try it out. It's free. Um, there are a bunch of future uh, features to come that the developer has mentioned like resizing the icons, maybe having more icons, sorry, widgets on a page because right now you're restricted to four. So in the future he says you can resize them, move them around and have multiple widget pages. So that should be pretty cool. So, again, definitely try it out. It's free. Um, check out the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.